What the hell are you doing? Are you using the toilet for the first time? I wanted to use it first. Get off. Get off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that with your feet, Ian. Like, seriously, that's so not cool and disgusting. Like, those feet are going to be dirty after this. Mm hmm. He can't cook his food with his feet, but you can yeah, hold your look. cooked food with your feet. Look, he just touched it. Oh my god. Actually, I hold it with my hand right here. Smile at the camera. Smile, Zylo. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> anyway, I am so, so tired. I think it's a lot of mental funk. You can hear neighbors all around us doing stuff, but this is like the last night before our cold spell comes in. So we're enjoying some family time with roasting dinner and I'm going to roast some marshmallows. And <laughs> this thing is driving me nuts, but it was feeling sore. So I stuck one on. I'm just freaking tired. That's about all I have to say other than I came back out here with my plate of food and I just started laughing. Like I heard the neighbors laugh and I just kind of start laughing. I'm like, oh my God. And Happy's like, what? And I'm like, oh, I just wanted to laugh. Is it okay? Like I wanted to laugh too. Like I hear them laughing, but I just, I wanted to laugh too. <laughs> it's just, I'm like, I'm losing my mind. Is that okay? Like Happy totally birthday. okay. Marshmallows, not your God damn it. It's smoking me out. What, but I got a very dirty toe. <laughs> Since the oldest has moved out, she came over today and put her twin bed back in, and I'm moving my childhood bed in there as well. I just got the tiniest little sliver I gotta grab. The smoking man. His his angry smoking man made out of the dresser. Can you see it? The angry eyebrows and the stogie in his mouth. Well, he's very angry. <laughs> So I'm gonna wash some sheets so they're fresh to put on this bed and then a cute, cute girly comforter on here. And I was thinking to, I was thinking that maybe the bassinet could even come down here and then we can totally make this like be the nursery, kitty, guest room. And yes, if my daughter comes home to visit or even comes home permanently, she'll still have a place to come back to. So yeah. My kiddo is already proactive. He's starting to bring down the bassinet. Yeah, we realized that it can be disassembled to be uh, transported a little bit easier. Oh yeah, found a picture of my oldest. Other than the chubby cheeks, I think it's pretty similar. So I just need to find baby pictures for this little guy. But so far it looks like my babies were pretty red in color. So basically I'm just trying to get my home back which that was totally a Ryan thing she loved homemaking and rearranging organizing and making the best out of the space that we had so yeah options trying to make the best out of our oldest moving out because that was a bittersweet thing here he comes with the rest of it uh oh Esper, come here. Come here. Come here, Esper. She like doesn't get it. Come here. Good girl. She spent the night outside because daddy called from her, for you and you didn't come running. I guess she thought we were sleeping in the tent again. I think Aubrey was going to be bumpy running. And she did not go listen to me. So she didn't buckle in. Oh no, she had a rough ride, huh? Crapo capo. I put in the wheels so they weren't a pain in my butt. Okay, good. So that's all. Yeah. Oh uh, no, time to snap these back in. Yep, definitely get it all snapped back together. Oh, that's cute. I love it. Yeah. Look. 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 Look We're almost put back together. We 
need to put the mirror back up. Then we can put the shower doors back up. <laughs> okay, I have brought Aubrey's clothes. Okay, these aren't all Aubrey's clothes, but most of them are. There's some newborn stuff right here in three-month clothing. But I was thinking, I thought my oldest was going to take that with her, but she's left it here at least for now. So I thought maybe I would make a bed there for Aubrey. It's super awkward to try and pull her in and out from underneath here because she's so big. And that way then I could put some more newborns underneath here. But if I got just a blanket, I can make her super cozy. There we go. I forgot that she loves to sleep on her belly. So that's what's going on right now. She just wanted to lay down for a little, little nap. And I was thinking if nobody bunks below her, I could maybe put some stuffies down there for her and just make it really cutesy in this corner. And now I'm like, man, Brielle would be so cute down here. But I really love having Brielle upstairs with me, at least at this point in time, like with the two beds in here. I actually might have one of these beds completely be Brielle's for all intent and purposes. I really might do that, so we'll see. And then I could also hang her clothes down here. I'm getting carried away, I feel like. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, this is exciting. Trying to make good things happen. What the hell are you doing? Are you using the toilet for the first time? I wanted to use it first. Get off. Get off. I'm just kidding. Good morning, my beautiful channel. I'm trying to raise my voice up a little bit because it's actually really stuck low this morning. I don't know what it is, but we can finally use the bathroom upstairs. Technically, I was not the first one to use it, but that is okay. This toilet is so high, however, that I swear we need to get one of those squatty potties to be able to use it. But it was super great to be able to do my makeup in the bathroom. And we're thinking of maybe eventually sanding and painting the cupboards as well we're especially going to do the back of the door it is so damaged anyways so that's going to be something that we for sure do so i'm extremely antsy because have you got so much done in the past couple of days so that we could get the bathroom put together and the house in order and i have to say swapping the bed for that dresser in that bedroom was amazing. And I love seeing the dresser behind the couch instead of a bed. Like it looks so much better. I'm all for us having a little space. If we ever need that again, I don't know. With all the system things going on, it's, I don't know. But that has been a really good change aesthetically for our house. Now I just kind of need to go around and clean things up. However, I'm very tired. Starting off with some very warm coffee this morning. But I'm just tired. Gotta find me some motivation. I know after some of this liquid gold, I'm going to be able to get some things done for sure. Man, I love this channel so much, you guys. I can't even tell you. It's been a safe space for us for, what, two and a half years now, I think. Just gonna finish my coffee and get some cleaning done and possibly do some speed cleanings in this video. I know Ryan loved to do speed cleans <laughs> and very you know, home life and lifestyle stuff. So I can feel that part of her. Oh, that's still such a touchy subject. I rewatched our long video about her integrating with us last night and it still hits really hard. So I don't know if that's something I'll ever get used to, honestly. When you spend, well, almost two years getting to know yourself and getting to know ourselves to have someone disappear. That's not something you can get over. <laughs> really, you can't. So anyways, let's focus on some good things today.
Stephanie totally was kind of fronting. She was being really playful with Zyla, which he loved. It's because someone on TikTok asked us like how long it took us to figure out how to paint and stuff. And so we started to look back at all the dolls that we painted and we feel like when we painted her Brindley sky, that we finally got it and it just clicked and made sense and we got confident enough to know what we're doing. So I get to hold her. She's so freaking adorable. So clearly Stephanie is co-fronting, which I appreciate so much because on one hand, it would be really nice to be one person again. Again, we were never one person. What am I saying? I just think it would be a simpler life to be one person, but it's also comforting to know that the rest of us are still there. <laughs> so it's good to like hear and see from others. So I'm going to tuck her back on the shelf. I moved her and put her next to her twin sister and trying to stay motivated here and sipping on coffee to get the rest of the house done. So let's go. Well, I've got quite a bit more dusting to do and I accidentally vacuumed up that freaking nail that I saw in the rug. I forgot about it, started vacuuming and now it's like stuck in there. So I've got to like, I don't know how I'm going to get it out. I was trying to find pliers, but, but, but this dresser is now dusted at least. So I got this idea from my oldest. So I've got the wax warmer. She bought some silicone cupcake liners and I'm gonna put in French lilac flowers. I was debating on <laughs> toasted espresso. Man, that one's a good one. Our lilacs out back have bloomed and they are beautiful. They look just like this. Ooh, it smells so good already. I'm trying to stay motivated. I keep finding myself dissociating really bad and just sitting and staring off into space. If I allow myself to sit down or stop at all, that's what happens. But it's like I have more dusting in here to do and then I wanted to wipe down in the bathroom because it's dusty in there as well and then start putting our toothbrushes and stuff back in there. It's like for another hundred bucks, we could redo the countertop in there. <laughs> as long as we keep the original sink that's in there. That's the thing. I was enjoying the beautiful lilac smell. Google Fi is still repairing. They already did that. Why are they back? It stinks. <laughs> you guys are in the way of the garbage truck. Nice job. Right there, they're, they're doing that again. Oh good, you can get mine just fine. Look at that smoke and disgusting stink. Anyways, I have now cleaned and dusted my desk. So besides more vacuuming in here, this room is feeling really good. So I'm gonna head on over to the bathroom next and just give it a wipe down. And then it's probably lunchtime. What time is it? I don't even know. Probably lunchtime. Hmm, do you think it's a bad thing that this thing is smoking also? Like, the one that my oldest has is a light above it instead of something underneath it. Like, I don't know why it's smoking. Like, it shouldn't be. There's no reason it should be smoking. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna just watch it and I think it'll be fine. Holy shit, 
I've been going pretty much nonstop for like four hours. My son needs to clean this couch. He made it his bed <laughs> at one point. And um, yeah, I scooted the couch back since the bed is no longer there. So that opens this room up really nicely. I just wish this room was a little bit wider. That would be so nice, but oh my God, I'm exhausted. I'm going to have some lunch. And I was thinking about bringing Brielle down here, the car seat down here so I could put Ariel in there. Ariel, Brielle. <laughs> and I still haven't done the bathroom, to be honest. I came down here and I was vacuuming and I'm doing laundry constantly. So I was switching that up. So I still have to do the bathroom, which that won't take me too long, but I'm gonna eat first. Also, I was laughing at myself because I went to use the bathroom and I used it up here and I went, I think the last time I used it, I went back downstairs still. <laughs> it's just one of those things that's like, I've been going downstairs for like a month to use the bathroom and now I don't have to, so. <laughs> kind of funny. This is one of these moments that's gonna trigger either me to go into small space or a little to front. I'm freaking exhausted. I'm still running back and forth. I was just gonna do some ramen real, real quick. My water is boiling and I'm like, shit, I gotta get this moving. I'm so exhausted. Grab an egg. It rolled off the counter. So now I gotta clean that up. Just, uh, I'm stressing out and I'm overdoing it. I know I'm overdoing it. So I've taken some painkiller so I can prevent <sighs> aches because I know that's gonna happen. and gooey and creamy just the way I like it. I just woke up from like a three-ish hour nap. Oh my god. Yeah, I've been doing those lately. Uh, it's totally fine. So I'm gonna quickly wipe down the bathroom. Look, I left my coffee here. I almost finished it. <laughs> In fact, Cheers. Cheers. Cheers me. Cheers me for your good grades. Do now I we, get a cheers? Now we air suck this. Cheers. We are air sucking it now. Upside down. Oh my god. So I ordered a drink at dinner and then something got messed up with ordering our food because the kids ordered first. I spent so long trying to get a drink ordered because I kept ordering drinks and they're like, oh, we don't have any more of that. We don't have any more of that. So by the time hubby and I ordered our food, something got messed up and so we took our food to go. So I had my drink without dinner. <laughs> so I now need to eat my dinner because I'm feeling my drink, which is not a bad thing. But that cold front is coming in. I told you guys in the last vlog that we were going to have a cold front. It's going to be like in the 30s in the morning. There's a really cold rain happening right now. And it's like, Brr! so I'm changing my clothes, getting all cozy. Yours is called the sunrise. What is that green stuff? I'm guessing guacamole spread, avocado spread. Oh. So I don't see garlic bread. No, I just do. Yes, you made your own macaroni over there. 
This is Ma's meat lasagna. Not very much. For the price, yeah, I should have gotten a side salad or at least a whole loaf of garlic bread. This was like 15, yeah, this was 15 bucks. Yeah. That's kind of sad, but I know it's gonna be enough food, but. All righty, time to enjoy. So hubby let me have one bite of his burger and I was like, and I pushed my lasagna away. <laughs> And there was only about four bites left of his burger, but it's like I'm comfortable now with a few fries also. And he was full, so he's gonna take lasagna for work tomorrow at lunch. But I was like, his burger was so good. I'm like, I don't want any more lasagna. <laughs> yes, please. I had only had a few bites of it, but it was just like so much cheese. I was just like gagging on cheese. It's not how I want to enjoy a lasagna. <laughs> burger, amazing. So I'm kind of upset right now that I enjoyed a drink without dinner because it <laughs> goes right into my bloodstream super fast and so at this point I'm just feeling really tired and I know I had a long day but I also had a long nap but at this point I'm just gonna call it night and get into bed and this may or may not be the end of the vlog as well. So, good night. I don't know how or what, but I got a very dirty toe. <laughs> Since the oldest has moved out, she came over today and put her twin bed back in. And I'm moving my childhood bed in there as well. I just got the tiniest little sliver I gotta grab.